Hello, everybody. We are live on the Lamley YouTube channel. It has been a long time. If you saw in the comments section, or at least in the description of this video, I took two weeks off. I was thrilled to do it uh, because I needed time, A, away from doing the videos because they can, uh, sometimes they take a little bit of time, and B, I just needed to some, some time to focus elsewhere. And so I used a lot of this time, I had to do some traveling and things. And uh, so I used some of this time to reorganize my collection. I have been meaning to cut it down. You are looking right now actually at the closet of my office. I'll pull back a little bit so you can kind of see what's going on here. I've got some lighting here to kind of shine some light in here. But um, you can see if you go down this way, and then I'll try and go all the way up. I don't know if we can get all the way up, but you can see that is my entire Hot Wheels loose collection and Matchbox actually. Hot Wheels is there on the very top shelf. It continues to this shelf. And then Matchbox is this shelf and this bottom shelf. And um, that's it. That is my entire Hot Wheels and Matchbox collection. Now some of the Hot Wheels Premium models um, are on the wall, and we'll get to that in just a little bit. And uh, <clears throat> I've got some other wall displays, but it's mainly Hot Wheels on the wall and Tomica Limited Vintage. We'll get to that in a little bit. But um, I have gotten so many questions because I got a lot of questions of like, where the hell are you? Why are you not making videos? And, um, and I said, well, I've just been real busy. And so I've got some videos that I have to do. In fact, um, I am set up to do one. There's our uh, normal video set up to do an auto world. I've got matchbox to do. I've got some hot wheels to do and I will get to that. But, um, and I'm seeing your comments come in, but I want to get to this for those that watch this video later, but I've gotten a lot of question of, I want to see your hot wheels room. I want to see your die cast office. And now is as good a time as any. So I'm going to open it up to you guys. You can see what you want to see. I'm gonna take you on a little bit of a tour. I'm gonna to talk to you about what I did with my collection and um, and kind of show you kind of what my philosophy is and uh, and what I, uh, what I now have. Uh, my philosophy, just to get to that, is to, um, is that my entire, now I say loose collection and my, pretty much my entire collection is loose. I really don't have, I have some carded stuff, but my plan is to eventually get rid of that to transfer it to someone else who wants it. Um, we'll talk about that later, but, uh, I like having the cars loose. I have them together. So I have them in storage here in these storage cases. And then I have them on the wall behind me, which we'll get to. And if my collection does not fit within these storage cases and with, within the wall displays, then I have to cut it down. And it was getting more and more full. So I went through it. This was last weekend. And I went through every model in my Hot Wheels and Matchbox collection, and I got rid of about 10 or 11 of these cases and uh, full of cars. They're in storage. I'm going to eventually put them up for sale. Um, and I'm actually going to put a video on Lamley Extras. I'll put a link down below when I'm done here. Um, two, I'll show you the images of every car that I purged. In fact, I took photographs of everything, and I'll turn that into a video so you can watch it. Um, and then. Uh, and then I, uh, yeah, and then I'm uh, gonna, this is what the collection is now. So I'm gonna walk through what's, what it is. I'm actually gonna take, I'm using my phone today. I'm gonna take this off of my uh, little tripod here and I'm gonna try and kind of show you what's going on here. So here's the Hot Wheels collection. Starts here and it's alphabetized. These are almost all basics because the premiums are over there. So I'm not gonna walk through all of them, but I am gonna do a special video series called the Lamley Collection. I'm gonna walk through each one of these models by make. So it starts over here in the A's with Acura, Alfa Romeo, BMW, moves into the C's, Cadillac, Chevrolet. Of course, the D's are for Datsun, Dodge. We've got Ferraris. You can see there's some Ferraris hidden in there. There's some Fords, Mustangs, H is for Honda, 
uh, Mazda RX-7s, Mercury's, Nissan's. You can see there's some Nissan's hidden in there. There's some GTR's. And then I think this row ends with, uh, what are those? Some Porsches, right? Starts with some Porsches. You can see there's Pagani. All of those are parked in these cases. Now these cases are called Creative Options Thread Organizers. You can get them at Joanne and you can get them on Amazon. So then we move down here. I've got some, just this, some shelves are for some storage stuff. Um, then you move down here and you can see where the Porsches continue. Studebaker, then we're in Toyota. And then it ends with Volkswagen and I believe, yep, there's Volvo to end it. And then we move to the entire Zamac collection. So I have every Zamac up to the first batch of 2019. I'm sorry, 2020. Then I have the Target Red Editions. That's where they are. Then it changes. So one thing I changed for my collection is I extracted all of the super treasure hunts that I have in my collection. And so they are now roughly in order, not maybe not specifically, not perfectly. But um, unless I have them on display, here they are in order, the ones that I own. And then it starts, I think, here in this case, where I have the supers and their regular counterparts. I started this a couple of years ago where I have them all together and you can see that. And that goes here. You can see it goes up to Mercury because, and we'll move over here, I have all of them in order down to the most current, the Honda, and then we'll have others right here that all open up as we go so as we as those as those mixes are released so those are the super treasure hunts then it moves into moon eyes all of the basic moon eye releases not anything premium just the basic moon eyes releases and then this is new too this is actually ferrari racers I'll get this light moving out of here. I'll try and, here, I'll move it over here. Ferrari racers and speed machines. I put all of those together. So it's not all of the speed machines. It's not all of the Ferrari racers, but it's what I have. And I kind of put them together because I always get questions about them. And um, so I decided that I would put them together so that if I ever needed to reference them for a video or something, they'd be easy to uh, extract. So there they are. And then I started this new collection of Hot Wheels ID models. And I'm going to do a video on these. All of the licensed Hot Wheels ID models, I put those together as well. So then this is just some extras that I have that uh, I need to get to. So that's Hot Wheels. That's my entire Hot Wheels collection besides what is on the wall, and that's all Hot Wheels Premium over there. So then, starting again, A is for Matchbox. I use my Matchbox collection. Starts with Alfa Romeo, Audi, BMW, Cadillac, Chevrolet, Datsuns, I think, right? Dot the Datsun is in there somewhere. Dodge, Chrysler, Ford, Jag. I see Holden right there. Jag, uh, Lexus, Lamborghini, Mercedes, Morgan, Mercury, Oldsmobile, Plymouth, Pontiac, Porsche. Toyota, and then it's a Volkswagen, and then you can see there's some Volvos right there. Then it goes down to some of my pre-productions. There's National Parks, and then, oh, and then, yeah, another new collection. 
but this is heavy. Auto World. I put all of them together ugh, into, uh, and it's heavy as heavy can be. I put all of my Auto World together in order, and so when I get to the new Auto World that I'm going to be opening, I put those to get, I put I'll put those to the, in those cases, and then there's some extra. So that is the collection. Now, obviously, I'm not going to pull all those out right now, but like I said, I'm going to have a new series of videos that will be on both. Hot Wheels Extra and the, La or, I'm sorry, the Lamley Extras channel and the Lamley YouTube channel, depending on the model I'm going through, where I will just, like, for example, pull out the Alfa Romeo Julia Sprint from Matchbox and I'll just go through all of them. It'll just be a quick video so you can see it and it can be a reference. But I'll just show you every video. So that is my entire loose collection, right? Hot Wheels, Matchbox, and Auto World. I have a few... Um, M2s that are packaged, Tarmac Works packaged. Um, I have a couple of loose majorettes. And then of course the other big portion of my collection is right here. This is the Tomica Limited Vintage. These are the ones on display. I have these three Carney displays that are dedicated to Tomica Limited Vintage. They don't make this style anymore of like the white shelves. They do the white background, but they don't do the white shelves. So I dedicated these to Tomica Limited Vintage and then the collection is in here. So, and I think I've shown this before, but my entire Tomica Limited Vintage packaged and loose collection is in this file cabinet, which is stuffed full. So I'm going to have to find another, another source here, um, to, uh, or another way to store the packages from my Tomica Limited Vintage. Now those are all of those. So that is that. And then if we move up here and I'll try here, I'll remove myself from the tripod again. That's the picture I drew when I was 13 that Michael Jordan signed. That's a picture that my daughter drew years and years ago. She's a lot older now. When the Cardinals were in the Super Bowl in 2008, the Arizona Cardinals, I'm a fan. There are some of the uh, premium models. You've got like the period correct, Toy Fair, um, Antisocial Social Club, all of these things. Lamborghini. That's my Hot Wheels ID Advisory Council, Bone Shaker. <sighs> and then you get to my loose Hot Wheels display. So I've got some premium stuff up there. I don't like them up there. I'm going to take them down soon. But it starts with vintage racing. So I have the entire set of vintage racing. It stops right here with the Torino. And then it, then it goes to some other premium sets I have. But you can see all of the vintage racing models, including the very famous BRE 510. These are some other older premium sets from Hot Wheels. You've got like the BMW right up here. This was only available in Canada and Brazil, I think, this set. Sorry if it's like, if the camera's shaking a little bit. I'm trying to hold it steady. I don't have my gimbal with me. Boulevard, not every boulevard, but some of them. There's the famous Dotson wagon. Then I have some entertainment. A lot of people are interested in like these Ferraris. Koenigsegg, Mustang. This is one of my all time favorites. Transit Supervan. That's from, uh, what do you call it? Heritage. And then here is where car culture starts with Japan Historics 1. And then I'll just stretch it out so you can see. I have all of the uh, car culture up until off-road because car culture continues with this display, which sits in the background of the uh, videos that I do for you guys. So...
Once I get a new set here, I'll push everything up. This set, this is what, uh, I can't remember what this set was called. Boulevard, Cruisin', right? Cruisin' Boulevard. This will then go starting here and then continue here. And then I'll move all the, that will be car culture. Here's team transport. Fast and Furious. And then just some miscellaneous stuff that will uh, probably be replaced as I need the space. And then of course the super treasure hunts I've shown you. And then if you move over here, these are convention cars. Not all of them, but some of them. Some of them that I've liked. And then the latest from RLC. You can see that stretches back quite a bit. So my dilemma is I'm almost out of space for RLC models. So I am going, so I bought one more of these, I bought actually two of these Carney display cases, well, two more of these, and they are now going to go here. I'm going to take the small one. I'm going to get rid of it. And then I am going to replace it with a big one. And then I'm going to put another big one on top of it so I can put all of car culture here and I'll have more room for um, RLC, convention, and a whole bunch of other stuff. Boulevard, everything else that's kind of coming from Hot Wheels. And then there's some other stuff here. That is my entire die-cast office. And I'm trying to move it right back here. So I actually have, if I show you right here too, there's others, there's where the videos are. You guys know I have some storage here. It carries the larger Auto World models. It has some Kyosho and Tarmac. Here's some uh, Kyosho right here. Some of the Matchbox buses. The uh, There's just some larger Hot Wheels that don't fit in cases. And then um, I have some carded stuff or some packaging. And then some Tomica Limited Vintage down here, some of the bigger stuff. So, there you go. All right, I've seen, a, I've seen a fair amount of comments. I haven't seen a ton because I've been <laughs> turning in circles here in my office. So I can ask uh, if you wanna get going here because you've already seen enough of this uh, office, but it's been a request for people to see it. I will start that Lamley Collection series of videos very soon. Hopefully you guys will like it. Um, I'm gonna post the video on Lamley extras of the uh, of the models that uh, were taken that I purged out of this collection, and then um, and then I will uh, and then I'll start up back up with Auto World. I've got an Auto World video to do, Matchbox and Hot Wheels, and uh, Tomic Limited Vintage as well. I have a lot of stuff to do. So so. All right, I'll look. I'll answer some questions for you guys since it is Sunday. If you want to move on, move on. Um, someone asked, let's see, what are you still missing from your collection that itches you sometimes? Um, actually, nothing. Uh, I've got what I want. I wanted that Yacht 510 that, I sh that you probably saw on my desk, and I was able to find that. And uh, right now, there's nothing on my list other than stuff that's coming out, not hard to find. I'm not really focusing on hard to find models anymore. I used to have some, and I still do have some but I'm more focused on just cool replicas of cool cars, so that's where I'm focused. What's the first car in my collection? I have no idea. <laughs> I mean, I could go back to childhood and I have a couple of cars from there, but um, I don't remember what the first thing was I have. Um, you want a pink, RLBB. How do I like the clear Carney displays that I have my Hot Wheels in? I love them, and I ordered two more. So white back, clear. If you want to go with the clear back, that's fine. The mirrored back, I don't like the mirrored back because I don't like seeing myself looking back at, 
at, uh, at uh, the models I'm looking at. Um, that's just my own preference, but a lot of people like the mirrored back because you can see the other side of the cars by on the mirror, so I get that. Have I considered accelerators or Highway 35? No, I haven't, I, and I'm not considering a whole lot right now because of space. Any word on the 2020 Legends there? I really want to come to Salt Lake. I would love to too, and don't think I haven't asked. But um, if you are in Salt Lake, I will say this, something might be coming up soon that might be very cool. I'll just leave it at that. Um, no green light or mini GT? I actually do. So I only, here, actually, here. Good, good point. Green light and M2. So I don't have a huge collection of green light and M2, but um, here's some of the M2 JDM stuff, and then here's some of the green light uh, 510 stuff that I like. I don't know why that's in there, but it'll go back in. And then someone asked about Mini GT. I've got that right there. So quite a few of the Mini GT models right there. And then I actually got some that I want to showcase right over there. You can see them right there. So yeah, I still have some of those other brands too. And there's some stuff in some boxes up, way up above too. All right, what else? Do I have any Tomica 787B number 55? Well, I have the one in my display from Tomica Limited Vintage. Um, have I regretted purging any particular model? Sure, and, but not to the point where, um, you know, there's some things that I look back and I wish, but I, I try, like psychologically, I try and just say, I have my rules for space. Um, I try and stick to it. And sure, I can have regrets that I let something go that maybe I'd rather have, but I say, you know, is it really that big of a deal? And it's not. I've got what I want. And maybe something, you know, there's definitely things that I, I sold two candy striper gassers. I actually at one time had like, at the time you could buy two, I think, on the RLC, if I remember, and I ended up having like four or five. And I gave a couple away, which I have no regrets for that because the people that have them are happy to have them. And then I sold two and I sold them for 200 bucks each. Um, I'd love to have those still because I could sell them for a lot more, but what am I going to do? It's like investing in the stock market. You're going to win some, you're going to lose some. There's other models that, uh, hey, Cork, there's other models that um, I have held on to that I could have sold for 50 bucks at one time and now I've sold them for five or $600. So, um, do I prefer, I prefer realistic Hot Wheels by far. Show NASCAR cars. I don't have any other than I have the vintage racing stuff. Um, do I make custom models? I don't. What's my favorite Hot Wheels? I don't know. Uh, my, hot, my favorite fantasy casting? That's a good call. I don't know. I really like uh, the Mad Manga. Um... Super Mystery Machine. I think it's in there. If you look real close, you can see it there. Have I ever accidentally damaged any of my models? Absolutely. It's part of the having a collection is you drop them occasionally, but it's okay. It's just a little bit of love. Um, show a, up close of the Speed Machines Lamborghini Murcielago SV. Uh-huh. Let's see, where is it? Right there. Let's see, what else? How long does it take for RLC memberships to end up selling out? If you want an RLC membership, you should be able to get it within the window. Do I have any Mopar? Yeah, I got some Dodges and Plymouths and things. 
um, Abby, if you just keep one of each car, then you don't have to worry about cutting down size. Well, Abby, I'll tell you, you like to get a little, you like to rile me up a little bit. Abby, every one of these is one of each car. And every car I purged was one of each car. So space is space. Law of matter means that it matter takes space. So whether it's 100 of one car or 100 of 100 separate cars, they all take the same amount of space and eventually you run out. That's how it works. Um, let's see. Can't find any 72 out of Celica. You think I will do more Toyota cars? Yes, I think they will. And I hope that that Celica comes back. Dog, Dog Boss says, you're really good at making these types of videos. Do you have any suggestions for new collectors channel? Um, just showcase stuff you like. That's all, that's all I can really suggest. People, I'll say this, people say you should review cars and you should say when you don't like anything. And I, this is my response to that. There are people out there who can review them and I think that's great and I watch those channels. But for me, mine is about collection. So I show what I collect. You know, I show things that I think is interesting and they collect. Occasionally I'm excited about something and it disappoints me, but how boring would it be for me to pull out a car that I could care less about and tell you what I think of it? You guys don't want to see that. You guys would be bored to death. So hopefully my excitement for new stuff that I like comes through. Um, someone asked about Tomic Limited Vintage. I get it at Japan Booster. Japanbooster.com is where you can pre-order and then they have an eBay store and I have links on lamthegroup.com. Um, do I build any custom displays? No, but I have built my, the way I shoot for photography, that's kind of my own little, I've kind of gone through trial and error, the setup I like. And so that's not really, it's nothing I've really built, but it's a setup I like for my photography. Um, Italis' Hot Wheels idea is so overrated. I don't agree. I'll tell you, man, when I, even if you don't like the technology behind it, which I think is pretty brilliant, when you put these cars together and you see how cool the paint is, in fact, I reached out to the Hot Wheels ID team and I said, hey man, I'm really enjoying just putting these together. And this is when I was purging last week and I said, I might do something about collecting Hot Wheels ID even without the app, even without all the chips, just how nice they look in the new castings and they said, awesome. And so I might uh, might have some cool stuff for you to, to show you guys pretty soon. Um, let's see here. Sophia says, thank you for sharing your collection with us with a question mark. Hopefully that's, I don't know how to answer that. <laughs> Lamb, you always get me hyped with your videos. Well, collecting is fun, but I will always say setting limits is very, very, very important. And uh, it felt good to get rid of these cars. And there's going to be, I'll show you that video. You'll see it po post tonight or later on today on Lemley Extras. And you'll see there's some good stuff in there from both Matchbox and Hot Wheels. And um, some of it I was like, oh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. But I was like, nope, let it go, let it go. Well, there's a song, right? But I won't sing it. Um, just move on. This is what I'm happy with, this collection. All right, guys, we are a minute and a half away. I always think 30 minutes for these live feeds is a good way to cut it off. If there's anything else you wanna see, let's dedicate the last minute or so to anything I can pull out that's like right in front of me here. Um, do I have any Hot Wheels Mercedes CLK, CLK LMs? I have, yes. Let's see, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna move this over to the side so I can get to it. I don't have all of them, but I have the ones I want. I have this one casting. Put it right here. So it's these. So Hot Wheels did, and I don't know if they're going to bring this casting back. I don't think they are, but they did the CLK, CLK DTM. And they did kind of an interesting one. They This was the first edition. Then they recolored it in silver. Then they recolored it the same year without the stripes on it. And then they did faster than ever versions of both of the silver versions as well. The only other one I wanted was this red one. But um, this car is fantastic. I know it's not the LM, but you're talking about the CLK. This is all I got. I'm trying to show you what I got. Um, 
So I have the CLK CLK DTM. It's the only one I've that's the only one that they've done. So or the only one that I have. Um RLC, you want to see a close-up of the RLC Porsche? I'll do that later. Um, do I collect any Majorette? I have a few Majorettes, and I love what Majorette is doing. We've done some, uh, we did a feature on Majorette's display at the Toy Fair on LamleyGroup.com if you want to go see it. Um, we've got some good writers over there on the blog, including Champion CJK, DJK, who is uh, on, the, on YouTube, and hopefully you follow his channel. Do I go out and look uh, for cars in stores when I have a chance? What is my most expensive car? Um, I don't know because I have some stuff that is so rare that I don't know how much people would pay for it if I tried to sell them. So, um, All right, we are well over 30 minutes, guys. I am going to work on that video showing you what I have purged. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. I've gotten so many requests to show my space, but now you know kind of what it looks like behind me when I'm doing videos. You kind of know what I can refer to. It's not a ton of stuff. This is my entire collection. I don't, I don't. Like I said, I try and keep it small. But um, this is what I have, and this is what I enjoy doing, and I'll be, I'll be doing as many videos as I can. I highly, highly suggest you visit lamleygroup.com. With our new group of writers, they're going to get into a lot of the stuff that I don't have, and I think it's pretty cool. I enjoy reading it myself. So you'll get a lot of cool coverage there, but you can you can count on good Hot Wheels, Matchbox, um, Auto World, Tomica Limited Vintage, and some other brands covered here, right? Thanks, everybody. Much, much more to come. I feel like I can start doing videos again because I've got a nice, organized office. Leave me more comments down below. I'll read them. I'll see what uh, I want to see what you guys think. Thanks, everybody. Bye.